Yo, what's good guys? It's Austin here, or Luna. So today's story time topic is about making a pretty important decision back in the day of uh, either breaking up a relationship and starting a bunch of drama, or uh, leaving it alone and feeling guilty as hell. Today's story time is about the time that I uh, caught my ex-girlfriend's sister doing something she shouldn't have. I guess you'll learn more about that in the story time. So today's story time takes place back in 2016, okay? I just started dating this girl. She was a pretty cool girl. This story time isn't about her being crazy. It was actually one of my non-crazy exes, which was a nice change. But yeah, it was about her sister. Now, her sister was a really cool girl. She was like two years older than she was. And she was nice, you know? Like, I had no problems with her. Every time I'd go to my girlfriend's house, she was always super nice to me, super respectful. Now, my girlfriend's sister was dating this guy at the time. Let's just call this dude Eric, okay? Now, Eric was a super cool dude. Every time I was over there and her sister was with us and her sister's boyfriend was there, it was always just a good crowd. Like, everyone there liked each other. We all got along really well. Like, hanging out with my girl, her sister, and her sister's boyfriend was just always fun, to say the least. So, yeah, cool dude, right? Now, sadly, Eric got done so wrong, okay? Like, beyond wronged, all right? So one day, it all starts off as a normal day, all right? I wake up, I get ready for my day, and my girlfriend invited me over to spend the night that night. So my whole day, I hung out with some friends at my house, and then the nighttime came along, and it was time for me to go to my girlfriend's house to spend the night. So I gathered some things from my house, got ready, packed up, told my girlfriend I was ready. She came and picked me up with her sister. They picked me up, we went back to her house. And the whole beginning of me spending the night there was completely normal. Like the first like three hours of me being there, nothing too out of the ordinary happened, just kind of sitting around watching movies all together. And it was me, my girl, her sister, and then Eric. Eric was there as well. So all of us were hanging out this night. So stoked, right? Like everyone was going to be there the whole night. It was going to be fun. And then sadly, things had to take a huge nosedive for the worst, all right? So after we all watched like two movies straight, her sister said she's getting pretty tired and she wants to go to bed and that Eric needs to go home. Now this caught me off guard because usually Eric would spend the night and I thought that on this night he'd be spending the night as well. And I think he thought that as well because when she told him to go home, he got all confused. He was like, wait, what? You want me to go home? Like, I'm not spending the night. And that just made everybody in the room real awkward, like real silent. And she's like, no, not tonight, Eric. I don't feel really good. Like, I'm sick to my stomach. I'm kind of nauseous. So I'd just rather spend tonight alone in my own bed. Like, sleeping with someone else would just be a lot right now while I'm sick. And also, the last thing I want to do is get you sick. I just don't feel really good. Now, in my head, I'm already thinking to myself, like, okay, this must be bullshit. Because if she was feeling sick and she didn't want to get her boyfriend sick, she wouldn't invite him over to hang out with him. And she wouldn't also hang out with her sister and me. Like, it just wouldn't make any sense. But then I thought about it a little bit. I'm like, okay, maybe she just started getting sick and she thinks she's coming down with like a bug or something so she wants to you know like cut off contact with everybody now like I don't know right I didn't try to think too much about it I was like whatever like not my business it's her relationship not mine I don't care so yeah Eric leaves Eric goes home and then her sister goes upstairs into her room to lay down and me and my girlfriend are alone at this point just watching another movie just chilling on the couch and then like 30 minutes goes by and my girlfriend ends up falling asleep on the couch and I was super tired as well so I wake her up and I'm like hey do you want to go upstairs to your room and sleep up there and she's like yeah let's go. So we go up to her room, we lay down, she falls asleep in like five minutes, I'm starting to get really tired, like, I'm just on the verge of sleep, like, I'm exhausted, I can feel myself start to kind of drift away, and then all of a sudden I hear this super loud bang against the wall, like a really loud bang, and it woke my girlfriend up, and she's like, what was that? And I was like, I'm not sure, I think it was your sister like hitting the wall or something, because their walls were connected, like her sister's room was right over, and she goes, oh, she must be like moving around or something, I don't know, and she falls back asleep like a minute later. And then I start hearing the banging again, only this time it's a lot more constant. Like, this time it was literally less than a second in between each bang against the wall. And of course, my girlfriend wakes up again, and she's like, what is going on in there? And I'm like, I don't know, like, it sounds so weird. And then we hear her sister start, like, crying. Like, it sounds like crying going on in the other room. And my girlfriend looks at me, and she's like, is she crying? And I'm like, I'm not sure, she sounds like it. And she's like, okay, we need to check on her right now. Like, she said she was sick. Like, she could be in a lot of pain. So we get up, and we walk out of the room, and we walk over to her sister's room. And my girlfriend opens up her sister's bedroom door. And we are greeted to a sight that neither of us expected. And honestly, it was something that I didn't want to see. It's something that I never wanted to see. We open up this door, and I'm immediately greeted to the sight of my girlfriend's sister cheating on her boyfriend, Eric, with another guy in bed, just in her room in the middle of the night. And the window's wide open, by the way, meaning he snuck through the window. And I'm just, like, shocked by this. And so is my girlfriend. And my girlfriend yells out, Ew! And slams the door shut. And we run back to her room. We sit down on the bed after shutting her door. And we just kind of sit there in just, like, disbelief. 
And my girlfriend's like, I cannot believe what I just saw. Like, this is just disgusting. And I'm like, yeah, I can't either. And all of a sudden, we hear a knock on her door, and my girlfriend opens it, and it's her sister, and she's just begging to not tell Eric. She's like, please, like, you guys can't tell Eric about this. Like, he'll be crushed. Like, I'm going to break up with him myself this week. Please don't tell him. And I'm like, look, I get it. Like, you don't want to, you know, break his heart or anything. But at the same time, if you're going to break up with him this week, you need to tell him yourself up front that you were cheating on him. Like, I just think it's his right to know that. Like, you shouldn't keep that from him. And she goes, well, why would I tell him I'm cheating on him if I'm breaking up with him? I'm like, because you're not breaking up with him and then dating this new guy. You started dating this new guy while you were dating Eric. Like, you can't just not tell him about it. And she's like, yeah, but I'm going to break up with him. Like, I'll never see him again. I'm like, you can't have this mindset in this situation. Tell him. He deserves to know. And my girlfriend agreed with me. She's like, yeah, like, you should tell Eric that you were cheating on him. Like, even though you'll never see him again and it'll hurt him, I feel like he deserves to know that you were doing something so serious behind his back so he doesn't let you back in if you ever want to date again. And her sister goes, no, sorry, I'm not telling him about it. Like, he doesn't need to know. I'm just going to break up with him this week and leave it at that. And then my girlfriend steps up and she's like, listen, if you don't tell him, we're going to tell him tonight. And I think to myself, like, oh, shit, like, she's calling her out. And her sister goes, you know what? Fine. Tell them yourselves. I can't bring myself to do it anyway. And she just slams the door and goes back to her room and continues hanging out with her new boyfriend. So, uh, yeah, we uh, picked up my phone. We called up Eric. And I was like, Eric, I don't know how to tell you this, man. Like, you're getting cheated on. We just caught her cheating on you. She doesn't want to tell you herself. So we're going to tell you. Like, we're sorry. Obviously, it was a lot more sincere than that. Like, we didn't, you know, rush through it. We told him, you know, real slowly and kind of just eased our way into it. But yeah, needless to say, Eric was sad and angry at the same time. So angry that he got in his car and showed up to their house 15 minutes later. He showed up at the door trying to fight her new boyfriend. He walked in the front door without knocking, came upstairs and started banging on her door to open up and unlock it so that he could fight her new boyfriend. And uh, if you could guess what happened, she did not open that door. She was not about to open that door and let Eric fight her new boyfriend because that would just cause way more problems than we already had on our plate. So yeah, he banged on the door for like 15 minutes. Luckily, my girlfriend's parents weren't home. They were on vacation, so they didn't hear him banging on the door and, you know, causing a scene in the middle of their house. So me and my girlfriend had to escort Eric downstairs onto the couch and kind of like talk him down from his anger and just kind of let him know like, bro, fighting her new boyfriend's not going to solve anything. Like, if anything, be mad at her. Don't be mad at her new boyfriend. Like, physically fighting her new boyfriend's not going to do a thing. And he's like, yeah, you guys are right. Like, I shouldn't do that. I'm not going to fight anybody. I just, I'm so upset. Like, I can't believe she would do this to me. Like, we've been dating for a whole year. And I'm like, trust me, bro. Like, I don't get it either. Like, you're a good dude. And he's like, thanks. Like, can we go get some Taco Bell? And we're like, yeah, of course. So we hopped in my girlfriend's car, drove him to Taco Bell, got him Taco Bell. And uh, in the end, Eric was okay. He was a little upset, but he got over it. After a few months time, he got a new girlfriend. She was way better, treated him way better. And uh, he found someone that made him happy. He started dating this new girl, and they're still dating to this day. So Eric is in a good state of mind from what I can see. And yeah, I can finally say one of these story times has a happy ending. So yeah, Eric had a happy ending, even though he had to go through a bunch of shit to get there. But yeah, guys, moral of the story is, is be loyal. And uh, if you're going through some serious shit, relationship, or just in life, power through. Get through it. There's better times ahead. But yeah, guys, I thought this story time was pretty crazy. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like on the video. I'd really appreciate it. Feel free to leave your story times in the comments down below. And subscribe if you're new. I'll see you all later. Peace.